Hello there, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. I just want to do a little unboxing of the new wireless Rolo printer. The wireless Rolo printer is now available at Rolo.com. Currently they are only offering limited quantities every day. I actually stayed up until midnight the first day it came out to get mine. So as you can tell, I was really excited to get my hands on this printer. This is a wireless thermal printer, thermal meaning that it does not require ink and you can use it with your Android, your Apple, your desktop, all wirelessly using your Wi-Fi network. It also has a great app, which I will go over here in a minute. Once I got the box open, I found this card that had the three easy steps to setting up the wireless printer. It also came with this color guide, which shows you what colors your Rolo printer displays and what the colors mean. And then of course, the customer service support card. It came with alcohol pads that are used to clean the Rolo, and it also came with 200 shipping labels. My first impression is that it's very small, it's lightweight, it's got these cute purple details. This other box has the power supply in it and it also came with a white plug in case you did want to plug it directly into your computer. So now that we have everything we need, let's plug it in and get it set up. I'm gonna place mine on top of my printer and then I plugged everything in. I'm already just loving how it looks. I like the white, it matches my office. The next thing I had to do was download the app. It's going to have you connect to your Bluetooth, turn the printer on, and you can find the on button on the back side of the printer. You're also going to want to put some labels in it, which the first time I did it, mine jammed a little bit, as you can see, but then it printed out, hey there. So once it was on and the paper was loaded, it had me press continue and I chose my Wi-Fi network. I put my password in and then my printer was connected to my Wi-Fi. It had a little test label button, so I pushed that, and here's what popped out. All set, thank you for setting me up, so cute. Now let's dive into this app. The first thing it's gonna want you to do is add your ship from address, which I've already done. The next thing it's going to want you to add a payment. You can either set it to auto refill or single payment. The next thing is you can create a quick shipment. You'd put in your package details. You can also connect your selling channels such as Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Shopify, Walmart. Um, I haven't set any of these up yet, but you could do that if you wanted to connect those. There is also the side menu where you can create a shipment, check your orders, see what has shipped. Looks like you can also schedule a pickup with USPS. So that's nifty. So that's just a real quick rundown of the Rolo printer app. It really operates a lot like the original Rolo, the way it opens, the way it loads the paper. When you want to or need to swap out labels, it's just as easy as pulling the original label out, placing the new label in. Make sure you tighten the guides enough so that your paper can still roll through it smoothly just shut the lid and the rollo will kind of suck in and out the paper and once it's got it figured out it will give you the green light and you're ready to print now you still might want to double check your printer settings just to be sure you have the correct size selected before printing another quick tip is if you are using a macbook you might not see your new rollo printer showing up as an available printer i wound up using this white usb cord to plug the printer directly into my laptop once i did that i got this notification and i selected yes and now my printer is showing up and printing wirelessly 
For those of you who use Inventory Lab, I just wanted to show you real quick how to connect this or really any printer to your Inventory Lab. Begin by selecting your name in the top right and then select Account. Next, you're going to go over here to Printing and click Set Up Your Printer. I use the IL Print. And then here you'll be able to select whichever printer you want, but I'm going to choose the Rolo, what size labels, and portrait. And then I always just hit this test print, so it'll test print a label. You can always toggle these off and on, but I like to keep this one so that it prints my SKU labels every time I add something to my batch. Another place you can check your printing settings is when you're in your list and prep. You'll see this print setting button right here, which will bring you back to your printer settings. Here you can see which printer you're connected to, the size of the labels, and make of test print. Altogether, this was really super simple to set up. It looks good. I'm looking forward to using this on my next shipment. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for weekly Amazon sourcing videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.